Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we go over an editing feature called Slip Edit. You may have seen this in other DAWs, now we're going to go over how to do it inside Studio One. Using Slip Edit is a great way of doing your edits without having to trim both the top and tail of all of your edits. Let's dive into the DAW and take a look at it in action. So here we are inside this session, and what we're going to be paying attention to are these vocals here. This is my lead vocal in red up here. And down here, we have just the background vocals. Now, this is a harmony right here for the lead vocal. And if we take a quick listen. You can hear when the harmony comes in, it's actually a little ahead of the lead vocal. So let's zoom in and see what's going on. And we'll use slip edit to put it into time. I'm going to shift over here, and this is our harmony. And we can see if we just try and line things up, it is a little ahead. And then when they do this drawn out note here, it's still a little ahead. Once we're over here, things kind of tighten up a bit more. So we just want to concentrate on this guy right here. Now that I've made my selection on my keyboard, I'm going to use Option X, and that'll be Alt X on a PC. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to this event and I'm going to hold command and option, or that'll be control and option on the PC. And you can see that the mouse changed to a new icon up in the top half. It turns into the knife, but in the bottom half, it's a playhead with arrows in either direction. So I'm still holding those modifiers down and I'm going to click and hold. And now look what it does. I can shift the audio inside of this event. So let's go ahead and try and line these up so that they're a little tighter. Now let's take a listen to that. And here it is in solo. Versus what it was before. It's a small change, but when you're going in and really tightening up your production for mass appeal or for label recognition or for whatever you're working on, little things like this really go a long way. Now, let's take it one step further. We've done this. All I have to do now is hit X on my keyboard and it instantly dropped in crossfades at both the top and the tail of this new event. The way it used to be when you would edit is you would grab your razor tool, make your cuts, then you would grab just any selection tool, grab the region, slide it to where it needed to go, and then you had these crossovers and this gap here. And you would have to adjust your boundary at the tail and adjust your boundary at the top as well, and then put in your crossfades. When using slip edit, you leave the region where it is. You do still place your cuts, but now you're not actually moving the event itself. You're moving the audio within the event. When you're done, you just hit X, it puts in an auto crossfade, and if you need to, you can still go in and adjust your crossfades and their position. Using slip edit will be a great way of speeding up your editing workflow. This way you're not having to waste time adjusting the top and tail of all of your events. You can just shift the audio within. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.